youth is a very important time for all of us growing up if early in life if we are able to find out what drives us what our goal is and if we are able to give our 100% energies towards that goal i think there's a very likely chance that we'll be successful for most of our time we are not sure of what we want we are not passionate about our goals and if you are not passionate and if the sink between goals and your passion and the time you spent on it is not in line then you end up working hard and feeling very painful about it whereas if your passion your goal and the time you spent is in line then you don't have to work work becomes joyful work becomes very light and these words like hard work discipline sacrifice are replaced with love passion liking involvement and that is when the best things in life happen for me somehow sport made that and that's why many people have seen me work and said you've been very hard working you've been very disciplined you've been very focused but for me it was a life which was very beautiful because as an athlete one of the best things which can happen is that your life is very focused because every aspect of your life is only based on one single question is it good for my sport or not if the answer is yes you do it if the answer is no then you don't do it so life of an athlete is very very simple and is not complicated about at all because as an athlete every question you're eating something you're asking your question is it good for my sport if you're going out somewhere you're asking yourself is it good for my sport if you are doing some activity you are asking yourself is it good for my sport if the answer is yes you do it if the answer is no you don't do it it's as simple as that excuse me so youth is very important and later in life and i have a small farm and i like farming i realize something we when we plant a tree a mango tree or even a guava tree or a um, custard apple when the tree is young and the tree gives some small fruit they always say don't take the fruit when the tree is young let it grow and this for me is a superb example for you because if in your youth you spend time to learn to do things which you are passionate about and don't think of enjoying the fruit of it very early then there's very likely chance that as you grow older the fruits in your life will be much bigger so as i see and i have seen many kids during my playing time and also during my time as a coach many of them at 15 16 17 they get the first bit of money the first bit of fame and they start to think that they need to enjoy life as if life was ending within the next 5 years they've got a lot of life ahead just hold on stop and don't enjoy yourself very early in life because there'll be many moments later where you can actually enjoy and the sacrifice or the holding back of enjoyment in the early years of your life will ensure that the fruits 
in your life are much bigger. This is something which I've seen in my life. I've seen in my life as a coach where I've seen many examples of people who put in hard work in youth and benefited and enjoyed later in life. I've also seen the other way where people got the first bike, first job, and they started to enjoy those things where they could do much better later in life. They never got up. So for me, from a traditional sense, if you were to look at time, management is important. But when passion and goals are aligned, then you don't have to manage time literally you will actually spend all your energies towards your passion and goal so i think it's very important to see where your heart is and that is very important another aspect which is important is to spend time on contemplating to understand what your thoughts are and this is one thing which I tell where people actually come out of a match if they've lost and they keep thinking about it and they keep on going over the mind keeps rotating and saying I should have done this I shouldn't have lost so they're eating food and they're thinking about the match they're trying to sleep they're not thinking about them so I think in these times one of the best things you can do is demarcate a certain amount of time for that problem so the thought comes that i have a problem and you've lost a match you need to figure this out you just say okay in the night between nine and ten o'clock one hour i will focus on ensuring that i'll solve this issue so i would say players to take a book Go through the entire match, write down things which are important, and then afterwards forget about it. So ensure that your thoughts and emotions don't keep bothering you over time. So whenever they bother you, you have to ensure that if this problem needs to be given time, allocate a time. Like you go to a corporate CEO, and he, you see his calendar. He has an appointment at 9.30. He has an appointment at 10.30. Likewise, give your thoughts an appointment. And that has been something which is very helpful. For me, players come up and say they've lost a match. I said, one of the first things I would say is when you walk out of the stadium, nobody should know whether you've lost the match or won the match. You should not show your emotion outside. And whatever you have to talk or say to yourself, go down, sit with yourself, calm yourself, and then do things what you have not done correctly, you write it down. What needs to be done, you write it down. And that is very, very important.